Automation is one of the best tools for getting a balanced mix, but here in GarageBand, we can only automate volume. So what if you want to automate your reverb, your delay, or your other effects? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a cool trick that can help you do just that. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music and GarageBand here on the iPhone or the iPad is one of the places that I love creating but the automation that we have here is a little bit limited in that you can't automate your effects or your panning. Now I've showed how to do panning automation before, that'll be linked up there and in the description but in this one I want to show you how we can automate the effects on our tracks in GarageBand. So let's jump into the iPad now and take a look. All right, we're here in GarageBand. This is a track that I'm working on at the moment just for a bit of fun. You can see here I've got some vocals, I've got some guitar loops in here, drum loop, and some bass. And at the moment, it sounds a little bit like this. Autumn haze is coming down. So it's all good there, but the vocals there are a little bit sort of dry and boring. You've got these really nice reverberant guitars here, these loops that come with GarageBand, by the way. These are the uh, Chasing Shadows loops. You can use these in your own GarageBand projects. They sound cool. But the vocals, they need something. What I actually want to do is I want to add some delay, but I only want to add it to these last words. So this bit in here. He's coming down. What I want there, stop that. What I want there is that down to do like a down, down down like a quarter note delay that just tails off there now I can do that if I wanted to add that uh, delay here I can go to my plugins and EQs I can come in here I can hit the edit button here let's just get rid of this effect EQ that never really does much we can add here and we can add in a track echo and I can quickly put it on the quarter note delay and let's just take a listen to what it will sound like So that sounds cool, yeah, but I don't want it on any other part except for that last word. So how do we get this done? Well, we need to use a little duplication trick and a uh, manipulation of the wet and dry on our effect here. So let's show you how to do that right now. So let's turn off the track echo from this track and we'll come back out here to our track. Now, what I'm going to need to do is first of all, duplicate this track because as I mentioned, we can only do automation on the volume here in GarageBand. So what I need to do is tap on this track right on the microphone icon, tap on the duplicate button here. Try that again, duplicate, and there's a second track. So now I can tap on the actual audio item, tap copy, put my playhead here at the start of the track, tap in the black space in the middle here, tap paste, and now I've got two copies of the same track with the same settings and the same audio. But what I'm gonna do now is let's go into our mixer icon here in the top left. It'll be up in your top right under settings if you're on an iPhone and go to plugins and EQ because on this first one, we've got the track echo off. On this second one, we wanna turn the track echo on. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna tap on here. Now your wet and dry tells GarageBand how much of the original signal you want in and how much of the processed reverb signal or the delay signal or whatever effect you're using, in this case, track echo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dial dry down to zero and you guessed it, wet up to 100%. So let's just uh, solo this vocal now and take a listen to what this sounds like. Autumn haze is coming down. So that's only the wet signal. If we put the dry back in there and have them both in here just so that you can hear what's happening, you'll hear we've got the original and that delay. Autumn, Autumn haze is coming, is coming down. 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 So what we're going to do is we're going to use this to our advantage. We're going to put that 100% wet. And what we have now, and you could even rename this. So this is now our vocal track. And this is technically now just our delay track because all we've got on here is this delay. So what we can do now is actually automate this in. So how do we automate? Well, I've shown it in previous videos, but let's jump in and show you how we do it in this particular case. To automate this track, we're going to tap right here on the microphone icon and then tap on automation. And this brings us into our automation window. To add automation points, we're going to slide up here in the top left corner and that turns on our ability to add in points. We want to work out where we want the automation to start and stop. And then we put our points in there. We can now turn that off. And let's grab this first automation point and drag it down. And we'll just drag the, the uh, very start of this track down as well. And so what this is going to do now is it's actually going to automate the volume to not have any of that delay. And then the delay is just going to kick in on this last word. Let's hit done. And let's turn these two on together. And let's just listen to what this sounds like with just these vocals. Autumn haze is coming, coming down. 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 
All right, so my automation has come in too soon there. You can hear that. So we'll go back here and we'll go to automation and we'll move this item here well, a little bit there. Move this one over here a bit and this one here. And let's see if this has improved just about there. It has improved this sound. We'll just take a listen. This is coming down, down, down. down, down. No, it hasn't. Why hasn't it? Well, what it's doing is it's actually delaying the previous bits of audio. So you're probably ahead of me on this one. What do we need to do? We need to do a quick edit here. So what we're going to do is come in here and we're actually going to cut off all of the audio before this last word. Because what it's actually doing is it's delaying that audio and it's carrying over even with this automation. So we can split it here and slide it down there and then tap this first bit of audio and hit delete. So let's now... Uh, hit the play button here and see what it sounds like now. It's coming down, 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 down. Yeah, so that's starting to come together. You can hear there that it's probably just a little bit loud on the, the delay there. So we can come in here to automation, turn it down a little bit, like so. Just like that. And yep, yeah, there we go. Hit done. And now let's bring it back into the mix and take a listen to what this sounds like now. Jesus coming down, down, down. Yeah, so that's cool. And in fact, we probably just want a little bit more sort of reverb on this delay as well. So if we come in here to our track reverb and dial up the reverb a bit, let's just take a listen. Down, down, down. Yeah, that's going to be cool. So we'll come back here. We'll put it back into our mix and let's take a listen again. Hey. Coming down, down, down. And what we can do is exactly the same sort of thing. In fact, let's just pre-cut out this audio for our next part. So we can split it here, there, and let's just come right down to where we've got our last word here. Tap, tap again, tap on the split. Oh, we've just missed it. Tap and tap on split, slide it down, delete out all this audio. Now you might be thinking, do you even need the automation? Well, potentially not. You could actually just use this method and just cut it and just have that last word. So let's, without the automation now, just see what this second uh, second phrase actually sounds like here. <laughs> yeah, didn't want it on the, oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, you just have to be careful, we'll do a little bit of trimming here. So it's not as, you know, advantageous as if you could just automate your effects up and down. You do have to do a little bit more work here, but I think you can see that quite quickly we can start getting some cool effects. So if you want that delay on the last word, if you want reverb to come in in just certain parts. So you can see how powerful this can be if you've got reverb, delay, distortion, any of those effects. Now here's the thing to keep in mind. The effect does need to be one of the effects that actually has this wet dry dial if you look at something like the compressor that's just got a mix knob that's not going to work but you're not really going to want to do this with compression if we come into overdrive same sort of thing so some of these effects are not going to work but any of your effects your third-party plugins anything that has these dry and wet dials here and reverb and delay are two that do and they're the ones that you're probably going to want to use the most using this method so there you go. Like most things in GarageBand, we need a bit of a hack, a bit of a workaround to get these things done. But it's a pretty simple process once you get the hang of it. There's two more videos all about other cool GarageBand tricks and tips. Link down below. You can also subscribe by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon. And I hope to see you on the next video.